Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Matt, and this is My Crazy Podcast, episode 24. What's your name? Shoe Nice, 22. I don't know what I did. Into, into the mic. What's your name? What's your name? Oh, oh me? Yeah. I want to meet the first person I get introduced. I said my name already. Josh said his name. Oh, sorry. I never know said it. I'm Clay. Well, I'm going. Dusty B. Red Velvet. And I'm Red Matt for Redundancy. <laughs> and I'm Matt for Redundancy. Say goodbye. What the fuck does that even mean? I just want to remind everyone to like and subscribe this to this channel right now. Nah, I don't even want to talk about that. Jim, subscri- did you get a new what? nickname? What? <laughs> Where the fuck is he today? Red he's, Velvet? He's shoe Nice. Velvet. Shoe Nice? Yeah, Shoe Nice. You don't know who Shoe Nice is? Why, yeah, why, why do I have the name Shoe Shine? <laughs> Dude, Dustin, you don't know who Shoe Nice is? Shoe Nice could chug my boot. Yeah, shoe Nice is an internet in legend. <laughs> you could go into this. You he chugs liquor on the internet. Does a lot more than that. Explain and he, like, oh, eats, I mean, he'll like, eat anything, crazy too. Fire and like, he'll eat anything. Anything. Like, anything. anything. Soap. Like, I watched anything. him eat deodorant. Like, I know who he is now, curl it out. but... I just don't care for it. My man would probably eat like a live uh, horse. Well, RIP because his YouTube channel got deleted. All his Lit. videos. Oh, damn. Yeah, I think it might be shit. Damn. Shit happens. Nah, I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to be he's shooting also kinda like, I think I'm pretty sure he was on like dope just Fuck walking ass. around the streets of like way northern like New York. Damn, just, I wouldn't want that. No, no, no. He lives in Denver now. I follow him on Snapchat. He lives on Denver now. Oh, oh that makes sense. I follow him on Good Snapchat, guys. I'm dead ass. He's probably chilling. He's like, hey, y'all. All right. Follow me on Snapchat. I do. Yep. So, let's get into the first real topic. The thing that we kind of missed last week that was kind of a big deal that people complained about, and, you know, porn and beef. Uh, beef and porn, porn and beef, your daily edition. What's it called? Uh, Kylie Jenner got the cover no. of Forbes magazine for being... Wait, how is this on porn and beef? How beef, is this related? Well, beef, just because everyone's anno- <laughs> annoyed about it. Beef uh, like curtains. That's barely beef. That's not All right, beef. well, it's fine. So, Kylie Jenner got Forbes for being soon to be the youngest billionaire self, quote self-made billionaire and people were mad about the self-made part man I feel because like by the time rich. this episode airs this is going to be talked about so much that it's going to be redundant so I'm going to say something new Kylie Jenner totally deserves that because it's Forbes and who the fuck cares they're reporting about Fortnite yeah word that's I think I got the I think I got a completely different opinion but I, I think I think well I mean she's dude, just like, I don't think it's any I don't think it's there fucking Donald Trump was on the cover of Forbes see, not for many nothing, years ago I'm mean, looking at him now not I for think, nothing I think that I really uh, think it just it's it's it, yeah they're perpetuating it but people themselves are fucking perpetuating even more how fucking ridiculous this is like people it's like a kickstarter or some shit to get her like the her missing hundred million dollars to get her to the billionaire market what the fuck yo Oh, I seen that. Like, we and can, I was like, "Yo, like, people are wild." Are you kidding me? Like, I, I like seriously, like, uh, not for nothing. I don't know the extent that people will go before, like, they realize that you're that we're diminishing as like intelligence as a whole here. And this think that's what doing. It is. Are you kidding me? Do you think this is smart in any way? Like, any of the people donating any sort of? And there's a good amount of money in this Let's fucking this. fund, supposedly. I think it's ignorance. I don't think there's that much money. I think it's like a couple thousand. I don't think that many people are giving it. Yeah, no, that's still a good amount of money. That's so hard. It's, yeah, but <laughs> in, in this grand scheme, a hundred million dollars, you got a couple of people are giving a couple. Of, uh, Grant, it's not that bad. You know, I would love to see her give it back, but <laughs> she's not gonna do that. No. Oh no. Well, what do you what do you guys think about it before I say my opinion about Jenner, or are we talking about what he just brought up? No, Jenner. About Jenner. Well, Both, that was about her. That was about her. Like the, the somebody fact that people started are... a GoFundMe to get her to the billion dollar mark. Ridiculous. And people are mad that she's even like considered self made because of her family being rich and all that stuff. Yeah. I think it's also hilarious that nobody says this about Donald Trump. I'm gonna be honest with you, I really give a flying fuck about Jenner because I don't know. The only reason he's relevant right now is she. she, she my fault. Yeah, she that advises she knew. No, no, this no, is her this daughter. Her, Holy oh, shit, this is Jenner. Yeah, yeah, this is Kylie. 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 Yeah. Like the daughter. Oh, the one, youngest, the the youngest billionaire, not oldest billionaire. Um. Uh, no. See, I went different. I didn't go for a transgender joke. I went for an Asian joke. I know joke. somebody around 100 told on something like that. Fear <laughs> Motherfucker's old. What can I say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My fault. I got a stream chest. All right. Um, fuck that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> She's the only reason. She only has money because her family had money. And because, yeah, yeah. So and because her sister took a dick and it got released on video. 
She doesn't need another fucking. She doesn't Kim need Kardashian donations. Is pretty she much famous easily, because of a fucking. She could easily go out and just fucking video. make that if she really yeah, wanted so, to be the next billionaire or the youngest billionaire. Dustin, well, no, the real she, thing is the thing is her company that cool. she started, the lip kits and all that stuff. Her, her makeup company that's just basically a Shopify page. I'm not saying that's a shot. I'm actually saying that as a compliment. The fact that she made oh, 900 yeah, million oh, off shit. a Shopify. Yeah, I forget about that. A Shopify page. Well, I guess my opinion on it is, I don't care that people call her self makes. I don't believe in. Uh, the idea of self-made I just don't like I like I would never consider myself self-made because all of you guys helped me how, yeah. is that, how is that possible and even on a greater scheme everyone's got parents we literally aren't self-made so I don't get I don't get mad about that the only thing I'm annoyed about is she started selling these makeup kits when she got the lip injections to make her lips look good so her and her selling point was Instagram so she was basically selling like this makeup can make you look like this which it physically can't. She has plastic surgery or had plastic surgery. And then she, she took it out. As soon as she gets a, almost a billion dollars, she takes out the lip kits now. Or like, not the lip kits. The lip kits are what she that sells. That shit happens all the time in America. I know, but that's the only thing I'm annoyed about. I don't care about the self-made people part. are praising I, her for it and that's fine. I care I care about the yeah. bullshit that she that. kind of made a billion dollars off selling a lie. That's why I, I know, care about You more. know what? I'm not going to lie. I've heard a lot of girls say that these lip kits you are you care right. about that? I'm mad at the bitch has... People are just handing her money for no fucking reason. I don't be but you won't help a fucking guy out on the street yeah, who's that's been a fucking small through percent. a war and shit. Wait, yeah, Dustin. Yeah, that thing... Let, throw that out the window. Because it was like... You know such I mean? a small Somebody could have created that page as, as a trolling a thing. Troll and we don't know if Kylie Jenner is going to get that money. that shit. You know what I mean? So just throw that away out of your head. The real thing was that Forbes put on their magazine cover, you know, like, youngest self-made... When, like, that's not what self-made is. That's the whole argument. And it just comes down um, to, like, a lot of people are mad because she's, by the definition of self-made, no, she's not self-made because so she's got a rich family. That's I just don't believe there's <laughs> anything as self-made. I'm more annoyed about the fact that she sold, she had plastic surgery and she was selling that the makeup did it, you know? That's why but I no, said she didn't explicitly sell but, like, subliminally sold it like that. That's, that's why I said it's redundant, though, because, uh, fucking... It's Forbes, and who the fuck cares? They put Trump on the cover of the magazine. You know what I mean? And I mean, whatever. That everybody's been on the cover of that magazine that has a bunch of money. And Facts. let's just say that um, self-made doesn't really mean anything because people don't fucking believe that. Everybody who voted for Trump that I know is like, he's a self-made guy. Look how great a businessman he is. He did it all by himself. And that's not fucking true, man. No. An inheritance of a million dollars is not doing it by yourself. And that's probably right around what Kylie Jenner got because... It, w- it, wasn't, it wasn't an inheritance. It was a small loan of a million dollars. Exactly. Whatever. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Small loan. Whatever the fuck it was. A small um, loan of a million dollars. Good check. Anybody who gets you know, a self-start, it doesn't really matter because people aren't going to... The person who wrote that article was... I don't know. Man. I don't believe anything in the media anymore. They just want to click. feel like people just write shit to write shit to get people pissed off. They, just wanted, yeah, they, wanted, they wanted clicks. They wanted people to talk about it, which we're doing. And I just want clicks, so that's why we're talking about it. But yeah, people were upset. Oh, did, did you guys... There's something else that happened actually yesterday of us recording it. She did like a, like a video where... Like a relationship test with her and Travis Scott, and they failed it. So... You know, take that for what it is. She, I don't know what, I don't know what if you guys care about they told? Like, what kind of question? Well, I, wait, I that's know. a weird thing. They, they, were, they were asking, like, what what's the name of her dogs? And he didn't, know, he didn't know the name of her dogs. Isn't there, like, 15 of them motherfuckers? No, there's four. Which, I'm not gonna lie, you think Travis Scott gives a flying fuck about no, that shit? He's like, yo, I gotta stay as far away from your family as possible because they turn people into dementors. <laughs> I saw, like, I, I, I saw, like, they, I well, really, bad like, enough that Travis you know, Scott's dating a like succubus, so, about, I mean, like, well, no, he's smart. He shot up the club of the billionaire. Yeah, he's set for life, bro. Yeah, he's good. Mm-hmm. That's his baby mama. Yeah, and she's and, about to and be a billionaire. Honestly, he got her when she was young and he just, like, walked away. No, they're still dating. dating. I don't... Uh, maybe. No, they're still dating. Yeah, yeah they're still they, dating? That's why they did this test yesterday. Bro, I'm so scared for this, man. <laughs> Yo, imagine the music that's gonna come out when she starts giving him hell. Well, no, I'm just, like, thinking about what happened to Kanye. And, I really like and Travis Lamar Scott. Odom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this motherfucker said, "Yo, look what happened to Kanye." And, uh, yo, no, but like, what, look what happened to like, like Lamar Odom. Like, dude, the list goes on. Like, I, that's why every... I've always said the Kanda- the Kardashians are succubuses. 
Uh, they'll right. suck you by. I remember. Yeah, the, I don't want to talk on this podcast. The, I remember the, there's a meme called Travis Guy is doomed. <laughs> I just thought he was just like, ah, oh, knocked her up. I'm out. Ah! <laughs> but no. I I just yeah, I, I, I like Travis cool. Scott. I'm very sad now. I like Travis Scott a lot. I love Travis Scott. All right. Oh man. Next topic. I think it's we're on a joke. No, no, Kylie Jenner's so hot though. Sorry, I don't know if you guys are think she's hot, but I, I like do. Kendall more. I like yeah. Oh, more. holy shit! Hell yeah. If she didn't yes. have all the plastic surgery. Hell yes. Or if she did, she did super but subtle. I would. I would probably fuck with any of them. Yeah, any oh, of them, bro. I would. I would. Yeah. They're rich. That's like Oprah. You just do it for the money. I, mean, I don't think they're bad people. Like I don't know fucking the Kardashians. No, I don't think they're bad people. I Man, just, if I were I in their position, that... I'd be doing the exact same shit. I don't think I, I just saying I don't think they're bad people I never said they're bad people next topic Trump and Russia so you know Trump oh, put his, Trump put his foot in his really mouth dark. and he pretty much was and he tried to unget his foot out of his mouth by saying he misspoke and said like he didn't but he did believe our FBI I don't know it really did listen to the whole thing it did sound like he was contradicting the FBI for Putin and I think it just comes from a place that he, his ego doesn't want him to admit that someone else helped him win. Uh, exactly. I, I stopped listening to this shit. Trump will yeah. suck your mother. Well, do you I think, feel like we stopped. I think, do I think you guys we talked think about Trump a couple weeks ago, and I, I think I said this, and I stopped listening. Do you guys think it, he, he colluded with... I read something with, about the Putin shit. I don't know what's going on, though. Do you think he colluded with Russia? Well, some... Uh, Fucking Aaron did. Some That's Russian. the crazy part about it. I thought we had this conversation, like, a year ago. Right? It's like, still about going like, on. like Trump co- co- and we all came to the conclusion that like still- yeah he did and there's not much we can do and now they're like we got this information but I was like I well, thought no, you they already started, had the information no they're starting to make an arrest now and they made the arrest while he was in Russia and then he's just like I don't I, I he's just like Putin said he didn't do it so I have no reason to not believe him and then he now he's saying he misspoke and he said no reason to not think it's not Russia or my something my thing like is that. could he get taken out of office if it turns out to be true, this could be this. If yeah, if it's true, this could be the ne- This could be bigger than Watergate. Like he could really get out of office, which is wild because quick. of all the other shit that he did before it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Like, Who would have so... thought it? Twenty eighteen. Wow. Lack... Well, because he they well as guys, it is, is America about to like because they collapse. Because he messed with the democratic system essentially. That's we're what they did. We're a deck of fucking cards, man. Like we've always teetered that line we're of what's moral right and what's immoral, and Trump has no. Trump has no morals. No, exactly. That's where I'm going. He has. He doesn't care. He just does whatever his will wants, and like that. He's he. I feel like he's Trump wants to be more of a dictator than a president. He wants people to like basically worship him, and I can't. And, he gets everything that's coming to him. Mm. Dustin, are you listening? Clay and Dusty, what do you guys' Dustin opinion? Lo- Dustin loves Trump. Yo, no, he doesn't. Yo, don't. He's put, the put, biggest Trump supporter I know. Don't put words in his mouth. No, no, no. Let the, let the man to, speak. So, from what I have read up on this, and I understand. Trump oh. essentially came out and spoke up against the s- central intelligence, the fake intelligence of, of America. Yeah. That's fake news, though. Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> whatever it is, I don't know. Fuck the media nowadays, but whatever's going on, he essentially said the CIA, all them motherfuckers, they can't do their job. And if you say that about your own shit, and you're breathing how, how, in. how can the people, this is where I go with it. How can the people then respect those same agencies if the president himself doesn't respect those same agencies? And then on stage, Whoa, with that goes Putin down to the police. Say, uh, saying, dun, dun, dun. like, yeah, no, on to everything. I basically saying I trust Putin. What he's saying over our FBI. Yeah, Yo, what would you guys do if on all of a sudden stage. he just preached anarchy in the streets, essentially? Pretty much. <clears throat> that's wild. That's guys. Actual. What would you do if all of a sudden Donald Trump? Was like, I'm sorry, did I just drop a bomb or something? No, no, seriously, yeah, yeah, you Everybody. dropped a bomb. What if all of a sudden he was like, yeah, anarchy? Everybody just got Fuck the quiet. police. But that's why people. That's why he recanted what, what? he said. Yo, he kind of switched ass. it up. But if he what said would purge, you do if my man went on Fox and was like, "Yo, fuck the police, I don't care, fuck them," 
they've been killing black people for years. What would you guys do? What would we all do collectively? He'd be like, yeah, fuck the police. You can't trust them. We gotta, we gotta kill the system completely. Drain the swamp. Two point Imagine if all wow. the people who were, who well, were like hey, anti Black what, Lives Matter. What would happen this, in this Amer- in America? All the people, people were like, anti. Oh shit! <laughs> I know he said. Yeah, facts. Those were sides immediately, just because he said it. Yeah, just because he think? said it. I don't think they would. I think yeah. there's a lot more people who are thinking. Wasn't that my fucking know if I'd birthday jump over. the other day? I'm like, this man might well, just be saying wasn't that, shit. Wasn't his birthday the other day or some shit like that? Mm, I don't know. Who, I don't, pay I don't think a civil war is far fetched here in America. No, neither do I. We're the most divided we've ever been. As far no, as it sounds, hell I, don't, yeah. I don't know. That would be some crazy next world shit. I think. I think that would start a civil war right there. That's yeah, just exactly. Because yeah. there's gonna be I no like, lines. I don't know if I'll be able to believe that. I'd be like, nah, he's fucking lying. There's gonna be no lines, dude. It's gonna be straight up nah, chaos. He's lying. I'd be like, he's lying. He's not. It's gonna be really massive happen. chaos and be anarchy all in the across streets, the country, and everybody would kill each other. <coughs> and Trump would stand on the top of the mountain like me, I'm Donald. Me. Well, I mean, still for the best, you know. I mean, it happened before. Like, it literally happened before in history. We had a civil war, so it's not far-fetched for it to happen again. No. It's it's completely far-fetched. Are you serious, bro? Are you serious with how divided everyone is right now? It's completely far-fetched. Dude, it takes one wrong move from the wrong person and the right person to capture it and twist it. It's totally not legal to do that. And it's done. It takes one. It's done. It, it takes that's, that's one. Hey, there, most there's a dictator start. born every Yo, single listen, day. It just takes matter of time I had this conversation with somebody the other day, though. Like, okay. All right. Bet. Fine. I'll hear you guys out. Tell me how we do it. How the fuck do you secede in 2018? I can't do that because I will literally go to jail, bro. No, but like that's what I'm saying. So how does anybody secede? How does a like state government secede from the rest of the country? Tell <laughs> I almost me. Said in secrecy. I almost said something in super. In secrecy? Yes. All right. What, what does that mean? So here, here's what you do. You, you get, cut yourself off. How do you cut yourself off from other states? So here's what you do. You the get twenty five thousand. Completely 000. relying on each other at this point. Come so here, on, man. Here's what you do. You get twenty five thousand dollars, and you can buy like half of Detroit, and then you try to get all. You bring all your people to Detroit, and then you all spread right, out. So now that mass <laughs> idea is thrown out the window. Somebody else come up with a really better, solid idea. Tell me how a state succeeds. Because I had this conversation, and somebody's my, like, "It's totally possible." It and is like, possible. Dude. All right, like literally, tell me how they we do it. Because like I understood it back in the eighteen hundreds, you were literally like, "There's the fucking line." Anybody who's coming over, if you're not a fucking on this team, then you're out. Well, you're dead. Nah, like, but we're like, talking about, bro, people travel state to state on a daily basis in the United States nowadays. There are people who are, are and live in other countries. God. Dude, it's not the 1800s anymore. Do you know what sleeper cells are? No. Okay. So, for starters, a sleeper cell is an individual who pretends to be someone who is... Case in point, Maddie could be a sleeper cell. He could be a fucking a KGB cell. type fucking assassin, and we well, would never KGB, know it type no shit. Okay. And he could be living here, acting like a fucking American every day. These people are Octopus, then acting during a certain situation grass. to overthrow the government and things like that. Antelope. I'm a CIA Those sleeper do exist, cell. and they're here Nine. in America. They're here. They're there in Korea. They're all over the fucking world. What does and that countries, have to do I'm getting with to that. a state I'm getting to that. There could be an infrastructure that's already been infiltrated by these people who overthrow the government, put in the right positions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's conspiracy ex- to a point, but that's what conspiracy is. And you overthrow the government through that way. That that's that's a more difficult way to do it, and it takes longer. But that's I'm gonna say that one because that one won't put me in jail. Can I just say that's something? one way you could do it? Doesn't it, it sound aliens. more likely that they would just take <laughs> over aliens. the entire country then at that point though? Well, that's where the civil war happens. Yeah, because people are gonna fight back. Yeah. Oh, we're not you. We're not talking about like a state seceding from a country and being like, "This is our our own country." No, I'm now. talking. No, oh, that's, that's, not gonna that's, that's what gonna, I'm talking about. That's when, when never gonna happen. You're, you're thinking too too <laughs> old school. Well, there's that whole shit that Texas wanted to become their own country. Yeah, but then also like, talking war, war like streets, Austin wanted to secede oh, from war them. Oh, in the streets. Oh man, I just think it's not likely because um, <laughs> like. Who's like essentially what what World War Two was in in France and fucking Britain and 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 what they experienced we would experience for the first time over here, and it'd be ugly. Yeah. Yeah. Very. Yeah, but who's fighting? Uh, Not people. Me. Uh, pretty much what I'm. My best guess, if you had to put titles on it to to make it easy, Rebel. it's gonna be conservatives versus liberals. Yeah. 
Damn, they're gonna have all the guns. Nah, you don't know that. Yeah, no. There's Sorry. a lot of progressives in the streets that would put up a pretty good fight. I know. I yeah, got actually, enough. we got a lot of like military people. I feel like that yeah. are like, all right, you want to do that? A lot of military <laughs> you know, people are actually highly it. educated. You know what's funny? It's highly educated military people. Things of that nature. It's highly educated military people, and, and no offense, God, I might offend some people out here, but ones that actually maybe went to therapy. <laughs> Yo, <we're, laughs> no, just, no, you know? that's a fact. <laughs> Seriously, though, there's a lot of dudes that have issues out there. And, I hope Seriously, though, everybody yeah. I know who's, like, you know, been in the military and has, like, uh, progressive ideas, yeah. you know, they, um, they're not fucking crazy either. <laughs> That's saying something. I don't know. You know what I mean? No, yeah, 100%. Because, <clears throat> mm. uh, I've met a couple dads, though, <laughs> of girlfriends. <laughs> yeah, I knew. And those motherfuckers are wild. Uh, yeah. yeah. Whoa. One of my homies... Like, what's therapy? I'm fucking 45. I've been fine my whole life. <laughs> with the Viet Cong when they coming at me. Nah, what's nah, man. He wasn't in fucking... Nom. What's it called? Nom. Uh, 40, nom. 40 and Nom? He's oh, like, yep, fuck. it's 2001. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you time traveled? Oh, shit. Never mind. You're not crazy. <laughs> Your life experience is way, way better than the mine. That was acid, Josh. That was acid? That was the or acid. I was actually just six. Dude, I Fucking forgot that. Years, so oh, I was younger. Damn it, Holy man. shit. Oh, you yeah, know, all stemmed from one, one of my homies' dads. After <laughs> damn, I just gave out my age. After one of the mass shootings, he started buying. He was worried about uh, Obama taking away his taking away his guns, and he bought a bunch of ammunition and buried it in his backyard. Uh huh. I know a few people that done did that. Um, I mean, it's smart. He said they're like the prepper that. type. Wasn't me. I don't mean either. I feel like that's Sometimes, next level conspiracy like a squirrel. shit where you're, just, where you're burying in the backyard. I'll hide beans I mean, not for nothing, like, you know, I got my farms and, and stuff like that and everything. You gotta have your cachets, man. I plan on have. I, I'm gonna pick up a few more just because, you know me, I'm a hunter, sports shooter, stuff like that too. But, you know, a couple, couple little things hidden in the pocket for, for when and if I need them. Billy's, I know it's, Billy's I have apartment friends. is a fallout shelter, actually. I actually have Ooh. friends who have oh, totally put one a large amount of property, and they have caches scattered throughout their locations if they ever have to bug out type deal. Well, I see. I would do a. I would do like a panic room, and have I, a bunch of uh, like ammunition in the panic room. Don't Why? Need so panic you can room shoot you yourself if you're not home. <laughs> no, no. Sounds like awful. if someone breaks in, then you go in a panic room, you get strapped up, and then you come out, and then get you're like strapped. Yeah. I want my panic room to have a full gaming setup along <laughs> with theater, and. I want Drinks, under- food, a dry bar, and this guy doesn't plan on coming okay. out afterwards. I'm not. I'm no. not gonna actually That's discuss what. That's called the what office, I'm- bro. He's like uh, next to my guns. I'm not gonna discuss. And what I also I'm have a mini gun just set up. <laughs> Pops up from from your desk. He's playing video games while getting robbed. Yeah. <laughs> like, all right, yeah. But at just least don't I take have the, the guns by me. I need that router, son. I have, you don't want to fuck up his Fortnite. I have a plan. It's way better than PUBG. That's a fact. All right, so next topic was uh, something Josh suggested. Don't shoot at that, man. Pew, pew. Oh, I thought you had a rubber band on you. What? I thought you were going to shoot a rubber band at me. I'm like, no. I was wondering why the heck you were blinking. I was like, yeah, what's your issue, bro? Yeah, my, my finger gun. <laughs> this, is why, this, is, <coughs> this is why police shoot people. <laughs> This is What's why up, my I, God? <laughs> No, I'm sorry. I'm getting too far. <laughs> this so is this why I, I wouldn't be a cop. Hey. Yeah, <laughs> Matt's like Matt's like the worst cop in the world. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You would just... You'd, you'd be, be like, surprised who can yeah, be a you'd cop, You'd be like actually. Will Ferrell and the other guys. you get a No, I, I get... Prim- I get that. I don't want... Yeah, but I get that, but I shouldn't be a cop. Yeah, I guess a good Even thing. if I could make it, Neither I shouldn't should be. Neither should I. <laughs> but you kind of were. Yeah. So next topic. Sasha Baron Cohen. Made the oh, yeah. trailer for his new show, and it was the funniest thing. It was like an a trailer. It was like a didn't first you see, episode. Oh, I saw the. I didn't. I saw only like part of it. I saw the pro, part where he, he made like the song with all the Congress <laughs> people, like the pro gun oh, song. It was bad guys. It was bad. They so like, you guys all know Sasha Baron Cohen. Borat. Yeah, I was actually googling it right now. Borat. Uh, Borat. Yeah. Got Ali, you. Okay. Ali got G. you. Yeah, yep. Enough said. Ali G. Yep, yep. So he's Just doing a new show. Yep. You know who Borat is? Borat. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, funniest shit. Oh, you broke a character. You suck. Yeah, I know. My bad. It's okay. It's all right, though. My, my always switch up. No, nah, nobody <laughs> noticed it. Anyway. All right. Fucking. My man dropped a new show. He's been filming Undercover for a year. 
It's pretty lit. Which other movie did have again? Borat. No, no Borat, but no Borat. Talking about, about the stunt jump. Oh, he was in that Bruno movie. Yeah, Bruno, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is Bruno the definitely the, weird. The dictator. The dictator. He was Ali G. No, that the one. The dictator. Did. Oh my god. All them shit's funny though. Yeah, yeah but now the the it was he had a bunch of like Congress people pretty much singing a song about how kids should learn how to shoot guns and All be right. strapped up in kindergarten. So he talked about <laughs> this he he's doing four different characters yeah, on this new show, awesome. right? There's one guy who's like an extreme liberal. Wait, wait. The guns had like stuffed animals on it like they try to make it super cute and like a yeah. like a Blue's Clues type thing I was gonna yeah, yeah. 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 yo my so my man is doing four different characters there's like an extreme liberal there's like this weird artist the one's weird there's like a weird art like ex-con who makes like art with shit <laughs> and like bro honestly it's uh, the first episode is fucking wild then there's one where he's a super like Redneck, like he's like a conspiracy theorist, like transporter oh <laughs> motherfucker. He's like, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drain the swamp. We're gonna get rid of <laughs> like his his thing. You know, it's a library. Like his Bob. website is truthberry dot org. Truthberry, that's fucking awesome. Truthberry dot org. That's like the any dude the prosthetics they do for him look. Oh each yeah, each no, person the- looks so different. And so the last guy he does is like a super guns right dude from uh, Israel. His name is like Iran, and so he has this crazy accent and this huge like jaw, and he gets all these congressmen talking about <clears throat> kindergartians. Yeah. So it's basically a wow. program for a preschoolers to learn to shoot guns. Child soldiers. That's crazy. Child soldiers, kindergartians. Wow. Yeah. Why? Why don't we just throw trafficking bro, into mix? Bro, so we're yo, talking yo, about yo, little ones. This we're is talking this about a pimp business. Blah ho. And they like, made it like a, a blues clues ass song with the, yo, like stuffed animals with a gun. You need to watch like, the, the video, Jim, because we they were talking about people who are serving in Congress being like kindergartians. Get your four year old to shoot a gun. Talking about how, like, the one guy's like, yeah, we killed the bill. It's going to make it illegal for um, people from age to 4 to 12 to be around, like, allowed to get weapons. We, we killed the bill. We killed the bill. That's crazy. That's fucking insane. And then fucking what? Bro, 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 you need, crazy. like, it was it's some of the most, and, like, Sasha Baron Cohen is just playing it up. Apparently, he's, he's, he's doing something with, that has to do with Trump, too. Well, yeah, yeah, that's the yeah. whole thing. Yeah, it's, it's like he's thing. playing these four different characters. Even the liberal one is mad funny. He went into like these really conservative Republican people's house and like sat down and ate dinner with them. And it's telling them like how his daughter free bleeds on the American flag, which I don't know <laughs> if you know what free bleed is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, onto American flag. And he's like, it's, it's kind of funny. It looks like China after enough blood gets on there. Wow. <laughs> like he's just like super liberal. He's like. Bro, his hair, he got the wow. bald, balding hair with the ponytail in the back. Yeah. Like, it's bald up top, but he's still got long yeah. in the back. Oh, my God. That's fucking crazy. Bro, he's talking about how his wife, it, like, is fucking a dolphin. <laughs> and they have to go to, like, therapy dolphin. for it. Dolphin! And they're just working yes. through it. And these conservative people are just, like, <laughs> you know, like, hit, at one point. I can't. When he was talking about free bleeding, the, the guy was, like, inappropriate, inappropriate. And the um wife was, like, honey don't pass judgment and he's like I apologize like they're like that wow like, they, she like delegated Trump to be wow. whatever you know what I mean yeah what yeah I so can't wait to see this oh my I god I cannot wait to see this like first of all their dinner setup is like they have a candle lit like you know like five candles yep. in the spindle thing mm. and they literally if you look off camera cause I was looking like full bar I'm talking full bar like every like a bar would have <laughs> Bro, it was wild. Dude. Oh, yeah. I just want to say shout out to uh, the people in London who constructed that baby Trump uh, float. <laughs> yeah. That shit. 200. They job. expected 50,000 people to show up. 250,000 people showed up. Yeah. That's wicked. That's awesome. Damn. <coughs> it's ridiculous. Fuck Trump. What's it called? Uh, yeah, no, the kindergarten so thing. Awesome. I, I, there was something I wanted to add about the kindergarten thing that I just. Oh, one of the congressmen, he wanted to uh, give an excuse for why he was in it. He said he was he was uh, led to believe that he was winning an award from Israel, and because he's pro Israel, he was he accepted it, and he was asked to do the video because and it was based on a story apparently about an Israeli kid who shot a bad guy in his school for four year olds, but then it, like he still sang the song where he's just like kids should get 
guns and then shoot at the bad guys and he still like talk about America. Oh no man that guy. Like he was like I was tricked into it but he still said it. No uh, no no that guy had a full on interview too <laughs> like that. Bro. That's fucking those crazy. motherfuckers yeah. So the one guy it's like totally obviously he's he, totally obvious he's reading off a script because mm-hmm. he's like children like owls actually have a heightened uh, reflex meaning they can see in basically slow motion. Like literally reading off a script you can tell and he goes um, on to say he's like kids are Max Payne he goes he goes <laughs> he goes see when the estrogen or whatever like he gives us some fucking like hormone he's like when the hormones go down to the blink 182 receptor um, it gets Rita Aura <laughs> yeah bro and then he's like and it goes down to the Cardi B reflex where it gets passed by the Wiz Khalifa did not know what he was saying at all like he's an old fucking dude reading a script but the f- first minute of the script is him talking about how kindergarten people should shoot and then the other guy who is the he's the head of Gun Orders of America is fucking talking to Sasha Baron Cohen and they're having the conversation about how these kids should shoot guns, and he's like, that's great. You're going to blow heads in America. Like, that's that's great. Yeah, Sasha Baron Cohen even goes like, oh, because cause they're going to be shooting people? Like, like he made the joke. Like, he cut him off with the joke. He's funny, bro. And he got him saying this crazy shit, and at one point he goes, one time my wife, she shoot me, because he's got this crazy accent for it, and he's like, one time my wife, she shoot me, and I fucking... And but what do what do I do? I sometimes I'm horny in the middle of the night. But you know, it's not rape if it's your wife, right? And the guy starts dying laughing next to him. He puts out his hand and shakes Sasha Barrico and like wow. oh, we're probably not gonna send that one to Congress, huh? <laughs> Cause he thinks he's getting filmed to get sent to Congress to like for a bill. Wow. wow. Said, Yeah, kids, shoot shoot some guns and rape your wives. Yo, man, it's like America. Sasha Barricone is about to wow. make some people look Fuck really we're, we're, dumb. Wow, what is wrong with people? <laughs> My man shook his hand and was like, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Yo, sinker. we needed Borat back. Oh, bro, it's gonna, it's literally gonna like, um, I, I subscribe to Showtime. I had to. Oh, Jesus and Mero. And now the show's on there too. I'm sorry, I had to do it. How much is it a month? I think with Amazon it's Probably. like five bucks or something like that. Oh. Yeah, mm-hmm. if you have Amazon Prime, you get discounts on that kind of shit. I got Amazon. Prime. Don't quote me on that. Right. I'm doing the free month. We're seeing Amazon Prime's gonna rule the world. I love Amazon Facts. Prime. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Jeff Bezos is like, <laughs> work forty hours a week. Oh, we should. I, that actually moves <laughs> I hope into your hands one. Get cut off. That actually moves into one of our topics. <laughs> Amazon actually has been the head, please, the is actually having poor working conditions in Europe. Oh, oh boy! Yeah. Different, surprise, surprise! Different, oh, Jesus. different countries are have different complaints, so it's not one specific thing that's going wrong. It like some of them are having aren't being able to like even have time to piss. Like they have bottom, oh yeah, people are have, peeing in bottles. They, yeah, they have bottles next to them because they have to pee. They don't have time to pee. They have to hit their quotas and shit like that. Damn. Wow! Yeah, there's bottles. I was reading it and it was like <sighs> I worked at an Amazon and there was bottles of piss everywhere. I'm like that's fucking. Disgusting. Wow. In Denver, you serve it to be. I, I was gonna say not for nothing. Right if you're in England, I guess like your family history kind of used to that workhouse shit and shit like that, where you work fucking twenty two hours and twenty four hours. But day. like, where is Amazon? But doing I mean, this, this isn't eighteen ten anymore. I'm so so I mean, like, well, in Spain, they're doing like I think Spain. Uh, so do you get paid I- good Ireland. to work at Amazon in like America? I don't know. Well, no, I think actually a couple months back, there was also something about America where they were peeing in bottles also or some other shit like that. Well, bro, I mean, I believe Allegedly, it. I don't, I don't, I don't well, remember that, I guess though. peeing in bottles is better than, like, you know, doing blow or something off the fucking factory lo- assembly line shit to keep them yeah. going for 20 hours a day. Is this what, what Jim you? does? <laughs> That's not what I do. <laughs> no, but I no, but either way, it's just... I, I, they're like they're obviously if they're peeing in bottles. <laughs> sorry, they're peeing in bottles. They're probably not getting lunch breaks. I think that was one of the countries they're not Maybe getting like lunch drink breaks. Maybe you drink the pee. <laughs> You're you so like stupid. It. You could drink your own pee because it's sterile. Mm-mm. That's just wild. Somebody <laughs> else's oh, that's poison. It, it just I, no, they were doing strikes this week for Prime Week because it was not Prime Week but Prime Day that lasts three days. Like my own and uh, so that's why they're protesting. And oh, really the motherfuckers were on strike. Yeah, they were on strike. Yep. Can you strike without a union? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You just don't get paid. Yeah, you don't yeah. get paid on it when you're in a union either, I don't think. So does that mean they fucked up Prime Day for a lot of people? No. 
I mean, the that, orders that, are still there. When they come back to work, they just got to fucking Bezos fill the orders. Like, we don't need you. This, this week, Jeff I Bezos... I control the world now. Within these past couple weeks, Jeff Bezos was named the richest man in the world, and... Prime, $150 billion. Yeah. And Prime... Jeff Bezos has $150 billion, And Prime, in the first, I think, like, 10 hours, exceeded their last year's Prime Day. So It's really crappy that he's so rich, because I really like Amazon. That's Amazon why it's like, great. why can't, why it can't, really is. They, he, maybe you should hire a couple more people so pe- not everyone needs to pee on themselves. Yeah, that would probably be a plus. Yeah, maybe I think he's probably a, a piece couple of more shit, buildings, you know? locations. I don't Get know that if he's drone a piece delivery shit, thing working. That's I, I, don't, work. I, I don't want that drone delivery. It's never sure. going to work, Jim. I don't want them having a database <clears throat> of like footage flying over. Oh, he's down to 747 and they had to land it in the Hudson. You think a drone's going to be able to dry, fly around? People are going to shoot down that drone and steal, a and steal the shit. All the time. I'm oh telling. my god! I'm glad my bike's here, but I killed some people. <laughs> no, someone's gonna. Someone, that Another drone picks it up as it crashes. They drops it. Someone's gonna shoot down the drone and grab whatever's in it. <clears throat> Hell yeah! Fortnite shit. I like that. Just you don't. I've been playing a lot of Fortnite, guys. Apparently. I got the season five update. You know that happened. Yeah, that's your, topical. What else? Another update? Yeah. What? Yeah, Dusty. When you get on Fortnite? Fuck Fortnite. Damn it. <laughs> it's all right. More no, no. He alive. only says that because he hasn't played. It's okay. What I'll get on with you guys eventually. What level are you? I will. Jim just says crazy stuff about. What level are you? Hey, got reset. Oh, it reset. I it just resets. got so much shit. I got to belt out in the meantime, and I can't be playing Facts. video games. Facts. That's what I'm saying. My backlog no got to play. Yes. I mean, I have not had time to download it. Like I've played it on other people's shit, but like. Back. I still have you know, I still I put, like, like from what I played I was still like public PUBG better I don't know what it is because it's more realistic to me it's I've, not never, I've never I've never it's played the least PUBG, realistic so game no in the world opinion how do you figure mathematically he, no he, not even close yes did you really just take that as a real response no. you just said mathematically and you're just like <laughs> he baited the shit out of you son it's just like that's mathematically fine, that that's not even damn well it's the science of numbers the Pythagorean theorem. All right, next topic. Pythagorean. <laughs> I'm serious. The triangles. So next topic. Uh, this goes back triangles to. Triangles have energy. This oh, goes no, back to a top. Uh, it's okay. Good. This goes back to a topic we were now talking about a couple weeks ago. We were talking about book Butch Hartman's Kickstarter for a quarter million dollars to make a uh, like a uh, streaming service. And my issue was, at the time, he didn't announce any shows. He announced three shows they wanted, three animated shows. So, he's got that. They sound good. Cool. But my main issue is a quarter million dollars is not enough money to make a streaming service and, like, produce enough I content to do keep it, it going. It's, it's not even enough run money to Windows manage 8, it. But <laughs> no. It's not even enough money to fucking manage it for a year. But he no, made... seriously, it's designed for Windows 8 optimized. <laughs> he's going to do it on smartphones. He said... He's going to utilize the the smartphone technology in his Kickstarter video. Oh, so That's it's going to be like a BlackBerry. He t- I think it was like a BlackBerry, ironically, like in the background. Like it was... It was like He's the, like, yo, my BlackBerry streams YouTube at like 480p. It was like the first Android phone, whatever. But let me get back on topic. It's perfect for my animation. It's so shitty that nobody can tell. <laughs> it got, oh! in that eye. It's got, it got its funding, and I was actually watching it the moment it got its funding, so I was like... Wait, he, he got its funding? Yeah, because uh, like six hours before it, it came out, he said, he, or like not six hours, like the day it was going to end, he put out like an Instagram story, I need 600 people to give me $99, which is wild that he thinks he has a fan base that has $99 of disposable income just to throw. He's like, I need 600 people to give me but 99 But he does, apparently. Well, apparently, because <laughs> it was just $60,000. I would have phrased so it as... So it's not crazy that he thinks that, because he totally does. Gotta catch him all because he's a Denny Phantom. Well, the actually, the I was watching it. The donation that got it over the edge was a ten thousand dollar donation to be an animated character. So one of his, one of his tears. So I shit on his tears before. Like it's just his tears aren't as good in my opinion compared to other people's tears. But one of his tears is you can either be a silent producer, uh, a live action character based on his choice, or a. Um, anime character based on his choice he is I thought we were all happy about this if he gave ten thousand dollars so yeah he got funding and uh I hope I wish him the best what happens if you give like a dollar well see that was my thing he's got he he was like I have seven hundred thousand subscribers I need six hundred I just need six hundred of you to give me ninety nine dollars if I were him I would have said 
I have 700,000 subscribers. I need 60,000 of you to give me a dollar. I would have I would have phrased it differently. Well, I, obviously it doesn't matter. He still got the money, but I don't know. Just the way he, he goes about it. Because he probably would have got more people. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll throw this dude a dollar and just fucking fact, like, that's what, quick that's what pay I'm him saying. a dollar real quick. Dollar, that shit ended up. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. I'll that up. So Danny Phantom's coming back? No, he doesn't have the rights to the Danny Phantom. He's he's uh, the three shows he announced after the after our last podcast when we talked about it actually seem kind of cool. One of them is a Danny Fam esque show where his where he can where a kid catches ghosts when his name is a- Manny. No, he actually has like this device where he's like a superhero where he can make anything he imagines come to life. So it's like a mix of Danny Phantom with Fairly Odd Parents kind of and like Chalk Zone. I guess not really. Because he does it in real life, like it's a device on his head or something like that. And there's, Fortnite. And there's two other shows that it was cool. So I, I wish him the best. I hope the shows do well. And so I just you said to see, you watch the app. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna. I wish him the best. I, I hope it does well. I'll subscribe if if the content's good. Like I'm always wanting to support I thought you content. said you watched it. I watched a video where he described like the three shows he wants to watch first. So did they go chameleon? No. But when you wish him the best. Out? I wish him the best. He, he just got the quarter. <laughs> he, he just got the quarter of a million. That's he hasn't made it yet. He, how is he gonna make three shows after he just got the oh, money? So he hasn't even made the app. No, he's yeah. got the money yesterday, probably. <clears throat> even then, like, what's this guy named Douglas Fredrickson? Butch Hartman. Butch Hartman. Douglas Fredrickson. Where the fuck did you get that from? Last podcast, you were so disrespectful. The entire time, you're like, Bitch Hartman. The oh, Bitch Hartman. Yeah, I forgot about that. That's a good one. Yeah, he's fuck so you, disre- bitch. He's so disrespectful. Bitch Hartman. Yeah, because he sounds like a bitch, man. No, he just sounds like someone who doesn't understand that. Regular people don't have that oh, much money. Oh, let me see. Oh, wow. Dispose. He's old as shit, man. I mean, we're all going to get old. <laughs> like, Dude, he golfs a lot, huh? Or is this a different Age Bush is a Hartman? thing, bro. I, I'm, I'm, I, wait I'm a perfect minute. example. Is this Butch Harmon? Or is this a golf guy no. named Butch Harmon? Eventually, you're going to hit what, your 30s. You're not going to be cool anymore. How do you spell it? Butch, B-U-T-C-H, Hartman. H-A-R-T-M-A-N. Hartman. Hartman. Like, Hartman. Well, all I know is that he's a bitch hard man to me. Shut the fuck. He's so disrespectful. Is this supposed to be a picture of him? I want- he drew himself? Yeah. What a bitch. That's a bitch thing to do. You're not supposed to draw yourself. What Why not? What the fuck? Why not? He's an animator. Because he doesn't look like that. He made himself yeah, he mad does. beefy. He actually does kind of look like that. He's mad beefy? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I don't believe it. Yo, Josh, That's his pause. art style, bro. Don't, don't, don't sound like a hit to Josh. No, I'm just yeah. being a hater. Josh is week. always a hater, bro. That's, what, See, that's, that's that, like his forte. That's I'm gonna why start I want my own podcast. Like, like when you Josh look at Josh's everything. resume, I want to see it at the top of that shit. Hater. Superb. Podcast 22. <laughs> Hater's <laughs> extraordinary. Podcast Hater. 22. You're telling me. Hater he, level. Super Saiyan 5. He wanted to start a new podcast. Fuck that. Guy. Instinct. What? This guy. That right guy here. got a quarter of a million dollars on Kickstarter. Everybody. That guy. To make a streaming service. You're telling me he looks. People. Why don't, like, why don't you I mean, could, could y'all donate some bread to Tarkos? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Please? Nah, for real. Yeah. That looks like Pretty please? Sugar I don't on think top? he has that type of Cherries? smile. Cherries? The whole nine? I mean, he honestly, it's the a, fit. He does have a, a nah, smile Nah, don't like look that. like him. It's the fit. Fuck you, bitch. That's his anime style. He's just, yeah. he, he's just hating for the sake of hating. That's what I'm realizing at this point. Yeah, definitely, 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 definitely. Definitely. But yeah, no. I just I felt like I was hating a little too much last episode, which I wasn't hating. That's because he's bitch hurt. I'm worried. The hit butt for your soul. I want him, I see I'm such a big fan, I want him to succeed. When I see something going wrong, I'm just passionate. I'm just like, oh God. You're a fucking cynic. Well, yeah, that too. I typed in bitch Hartman, you and bitch. nothing comes up, which is surprising. All right, next topic, so we don't disrespect do him more. All right, uh, last topic before we get to Jim's secret topic. Hey, hey. Jim's got a secret topic. Jim's yeah. got a secret oh, topic shit. this week. Um, so there's this guy. So we talked about TanaCon last week. It's like a 12 year old thing to say. Yeah, that motherfuckers. Those and, motherfuckers. So th- a, a new YouTuber saw. TanaCon try to make a sh- uh, convention in two months pretty much said hold my beer and try to make a live show in a week try to get guests like Drake stalked him at a, a club his name's Fousey too or Yusuf apparently and uh, he was like he, he pretty much alluded that Drake was gonna be what there what is it called? it was uh, FouseyCon? no it wasn't FouseyCon that's all what I'm calling it was like uh, make love squash hate or something like that like the, his whole marketing for it was like I want it to be free which was exactly like TanaCon's tagline but his was actually like all free it wasn't like some tickets or advanced you know. so it was all free but the thing is he was like 
I'm gonna have big artists there. He was. He oh was man, tweeting, I just already got shut down by a bomb threat. Yeah, he was like tweeting, but he was like tweeting videos of he Diddy. He's it? like, Diddy, uh, we have the same spirit. I watched your documentary. He's like, come through to the show. And then he was like, stalked Drake outside of a club, and he kept on set, like posting Drake's photo. He's like, July fifteenth, July, basically alluding that Drake would be there. And then it got closed down because of a bomb threat. And then he ended up basically, in my opinion, having a manic breakdown on top of a Uber driver's van. <laughs> You know, like nice. he was like on top of an Uber driver's van. He's like, "All I want to do is bring love." And he's pointing out one person. He's like, "You're bringing a de- you brought a documentary because you wanted to see me fail." And he's blaming someone else. He's like, "He brought that energy here. If it wasn't for his fan base, th- there wouldn't have been a bomb threat." It's like, you no. can't. No, it's just like it was bad. Oh. It was bad luck. And one, it, he's like, "Why was there a bomb threat? Why do we give some people the, the right to use the fucking internet?" And why and he was like and his ex- oh, and then he was like head hurt. then he went on a podcast he went on a no jumper podcast very popular podcast and uh he pre- he won he did an interview yeah, people say crazy shit on no jumper too. you guys forget the internet is still young yo but it's still an infant listen to his excuse We're fucked. for how drake his, for his reasoning for why drake was actually gonna come so his basic story was he stalked drake to go to the club he got into the club he got into the party somehow he found some guys. Lies. He bumped into him. Lies. And he probably threatened to put lotion on his skin <laughs> in a hole. Yeah. Well, yeah. Allegedly lies. Fucking lies. lies. But so, but he basically said he bumped into someone. He's just like, yo, read this. And it, uh, it was like something on his phone. He was like basically talking about the show, about how he wants to inspire people, or like all this stuff. And he wants Drake to be there. And he wants, it's like, God, and he was like, this is God's plan. And then he was <laughs> like, then he told me, he's like, I'm Drake's right hand man. And then he's like, He's like, no way, and then he's and then he's like, one sec, I got you, and then he's and he's trying to make it seem like it's not crazy. He's like, don't you think, like, because he's actually like, uh, he's he's a a Muslim and he actually looks Arab because he is Arab, and uh, with the name like Yusuf, obviously. So yeah. he so he's his could, excuse was like, be. obviously this happened because if he if he wanted me out of there, he could have been like, yo, this Muslim guy's in here, like get him out of the club. But then no, he walked straight to Drake, and I saw him. Go right into his hair, and then he's like, goes into the the host of No Jumper podcast. He's like, he's like, oh, he's, a, he's like, oh. right, yeah, he's like, he's right, oh. in, he gets right in his ear. He's, again, animated. Yeah, he's like, like, he's like oh. moving. The, he's so animated through this entire interview, moving the mic around. He's like, I got get, scared there for a second. I know, I was scared when you said that. Yeah, did. and he's just like, he's right scared. in his ear, and he's like, this is Drake's man. He's right in his ear, and he's just whispering in his ear. And then all of a sudden, he, he probably lo- whispered, "I want to put the lotion on your skin." And all. He's probably, you know, what he probably whispered, hey, yo, "This what, crazy man. motherfucker." wants you to come thinks you're gonna come to a show let's get the fuck out of here and but he's like apparently he's like whispering his ear for five minutes he looks back apparently drake looks him in the eye he looks drake in the eye <clears throat> and then his man he looks over at his man his man gives him the head nod and then him and drake his drake and his man leave and apparently he gets like face to face with drake but then drake just walks away and then he, he goes outside and he sees drake's man and he's just like yo so what do i do apparently drake's man gives him the numbers like text me tomorrow We'll make it happen. Now, does that sound like someone who he says that he met Drake? Even but even in that story, he never talked to Drake. Drake walked past him, looked him in the eye. Yeah, it was, Yo, the, he, it was yeah. The, possibly he says nose to nose. But even if that didn't say, say anything this? to you, can I say this? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's ridiculous. My man is lying. You've never seen that childish Gambino the episode of Atlanta. Well, allegedly Drake Season was in two, allegedly think, allegedly uh, Drake was in New York the night of the that Yusuf show. Not the not the night well, of the club. He could have been in L.A. for the club, but there's this episode. He was in New York for the of Atlanta, where this guy's like, yeah, 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 come to this party, and trying to get this girl to come to this party. He's like, Drake's gonna be there, and <laughs> he wasn't fucking Yo. there. Drake, and he was ne- the whole story of it was he was never coming. Well, this dude honestly, I think is. But it was like Drake. It was like at Drake's house. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's the whole like story of it. And but he was never gonna be there. Like yeah. oh, shit. everybody, these guys like who were like Drake's friends like threw a party. But here's the thing. Uh, it, it's a funny episode of Atlanta. I don't remember it completely, but well, here's here's the here's don't believe the, that. I feel like that's bullshit. Why the fuck would Drake go to? Yeah, this guy's playing. Obviously, dude. Dude, this guy has having a manic <laughs> breakdown. So like, here's what happened. He finally just came back. It's the public last like a couple weeks ago. I he like went, that. He went to Australia. He had a show with only three hundred people, and he was upset because it was only <coughs> I'm three. I'm upset because it was only three hundred people. So he's like, you know, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna do a show for free, and he's like, I want to spread peace, love, and positivity. And then at the end, he he starts talking about he wants to release a uh, a project, and then you're like, wait, what do you mean? And then it's like this is starting to sound like a promo for something, and then he's like, yeah, this is gonna be a music video. That's like. 
oh, so he's doing this whole entire shit to promote a music video. And then, mm-hmm. then he's talking about how it's all about peace, love, and positivity. So you think, the, so- you think that the song's about to- going to be about peace, love, and positivity. Clear. No, it's a, Peace, love, unity, respect. It's always I walk in a crime. It's a, it was a diss way. track against another YouTuber. Yes, yeah. that's fun. He's promoting. It's a, he's he's obviously have a manic breakdown. Like he's basically ripping his shirt off on top of someone's van. He's yelling at people's face, calling them. I like a, that. I want to see this them, video. He was calling them a beta in the uh, No Jumper podcast because one of his. The uh, fuck. So this is weird. So it's like alpha beta type deals dead ass he's like I'm an alpha you're a beta and he starts like slamming his chest he's like I'm an alpha you're a bitch he's like I want yeah. and then he's like before he leaves like I want to count how many times I called him a bitch I'm gonna do a throw a pizza party I'll buy that many pizzas for everybody oh he's a he's dick. wild he's just yeah, wild this guy's crazy fuck? Fuck and guess what wild. set it off his employee lied to the police and said this other YouTuber was the one that called in the bomb threat and got that YouTuber arrested so he confronted him on the podcast <clears throat> he pulled up he's like yo don't you think it's fucked up that your employee lied? He's like, no. You bring that energy everywhere you go. That was your fault. He's just like, it's my fault that your employee lied. He's like, yeah, yeah what you, the fuck? you brought that energy. He's like, and then he just replies, he's like, you're a meme, bro. That's why no one takes you serious. And then he just flipped out. He's like, I'm an alpha. You're a beta. Um, you're, you're a, a bitch. meme. Wow. And then he's like, don't you ever mess with me again. Don't you ever mess with someone that's trying to bring positivity. And then it's like, and I don't even like this kid because this can't. This prankster is a douche, but still, he had a point. It's like, how are you going to. The worst part is you can't beat people like him, though, man. Because no. even if you hit him or something like that, they still win. Yeah. No, he's the best thing you can do is just ignore him and let him die. Well, that's the thing. He's well, yeah. He's become. I don't like let using the word die. irrelevant, but yeah, he's become. That's how you do it. You irrelevant. Don't just die. It's they just kill sad. themselves out. You know exactly. What I'm saying? Well, I don't want to use that because he actually is like bipolar. That's the thing. I he's just obviously have a manic breakdown. He doesn't know. What the fuck? So well, he's that's like, depressing. He's like, I gotta yeah, pee. He's like, I want to be the twenty. He's like, why can't there be twenty Kanyes? Damn, that bad. Yeah, man. I've been Boom, but... Uh, well, there, all that's left is Jim's last topic. Oh, Jim's secret topic. Go secret ahead. Secret topic. Right. <laughs> so... I want to move on. Wait, let me move. end this. So, yeah, it's sad. Hopefully, it gets help. Let's just say that. Okay. That, that now, I'm right. going to topic. So, a co-worker was telling me today <laughs> that he lost $400 to a farm animal. What? 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 All right, come. You heard me correctly. Explain. In the animal? The animal no, ate it. No, to an animal. <laughs> okay. What? Yes. Well, he's got to explain now. Okay. So, it was my horse. man was down in Atlantic City at the, I believe it was the Tropicana. Now, apparently there's this game like the orange shoes. called, uh, as we all know, Tic-Tac-Toe. You put $20 in the machine. If you win the Tic-Tac-Toe game, you win $1,000. If you tie or lose, you know, you lose your 20 bucks. Here's the catch. The Tic-Tac-Toe is controlled by a live chicken. You yes. literally are playing a live chicken that's in a thing that when it's time, when you put the money in, the chicken knows it's time to do it and it pecks what it wants to thing to play. Chicken goes first and you play the chicken. I feel like that's the closest thing like, a cock fighting yeah, you can get this free. legal. And people My, lose this chicken on the regular, obviously. The chicken has is never been beaten. Wait, so did he do a multiple bets? Tic-tac-toe, what happens if there's a cat game? Who goes first? I will go first. The chicken goes first. The chicken goes first. That's the, that's, that's the fuck. What happens if there's a cat game? There's a way. To, there, it's, it's possible to win, but it's very, 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 what very hard. What happens if there's a cat's game? A what? Cat's game. Like, nobody wins. Oh, then it goes to the house. The the, the still the house t- just like any casino game. Oh, if you, you tie, the house wins. Jesus, you just can't. Like it's impossible. Yes, wait, it so, is. Wait, one question. Did he go baller and just throw four hundred in immediately, or was he no, just like? Why did you think I would time? enjoy this time? Oh, yeah, he was doing this twenty dollars at a time. Lost four hundred dollars, mind you. There is a fucking line behind this dude, like all the way down through the entire middle of the casino. How much hooked do you win if you win? Thousand dollars for twenty. For twenty, uh, that's a come up. Bro, you think oh, about it, it's the same thing and as tic-tac-toe. it's the same thing as going to the blackjack table, place twenty dollar minimum hand, a twenty dollar minimum bet. You know what I'm saying? And then you go from there. You know, it's the same fucking thing. Nah, fuck Just that. tic-tac-toe. I no damn chicken. But a motherfucking no. chicken. How, How much... would you feel if you lost four hundred dollars to a fucking farm animal? I would never lose money because tic-tac-toe is oh, yeah, already a rigged game. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> I, w- I wouldn't challenge a chicken. How? What, what if you're? A, what if you're a whole bottle of Henny Deep though? I'm challenging no. a chicken. There's a reason nah. that chicken's getting money. No facts. In facts. Nobody's paying that chicken. I just want you to I'm know. I'm not dumb. There's a scheme. And that chicken's smart. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I'm not ashamed to admit. The chicken's probably better at tic-tac-toe than me in that situation. Fuck it. 
I'll admit it. He probably no shame. Yeah, he's probably walking away with my me twenty bucks. Of, me a couple steps at me. I think of all for teeth that chicken. He did. said that chicken's getting money. That chicken's getting chickens. <laughs> Yo, that chicken got that chicken. Yo, the, I need that chicken. If Yo, that's chicken hilarious. I can't like, wait to text my friends. You're right, gonna do a James topic. Mean, yes. I can't I'm wait to text my friends that there's a chicken in in. Atlantic City. Atlantic City. The Atlantic City. Yo, I believe it's at, there's a YouTube video. Just type in chicken, uh, chicken tic tac toe at in yeah, Atlantic, Atlantic City. Chicken, 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 chickens, bro. We'll go to my beach house. We'll, we'll make a weekend out of it. Bro, I'm telling you, bro. The boys need to hit up AC because we got some money to win. Show me the poker table into uh, the chicken box. I'm not saying show me the crap too. I'm at me rule. And and the uh, and and blackjack too. I uh, plus, dr- I fuck around some roulette. I'm just want to drive. Yeah, that's so a little bit of three car, it, seven car. I just want to drive. That's my only issue. I fucking hate driving. Yeah, to drive. I'll drive, really but you. somebody else driving home. The last time, <laughs> the last time me go, I'm gonna take a Uber. All the way from AC up here. I know me pay a fee. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh, oh, I don't even want to know. All right. Can you start again? No, I, uh, I, I, I'm just, no, I'm good. We should just end it there. I'm mad. Because that's pretty much it. Yeah. That was fire. That was a fire. Try to beat the it. chicken. So I, I, chickens get chickens. This is, this don't is, get choked out by the chicken. Or don't chuck your chicken too much. Facts. And if don't your chicken gets your chicken chickens, then you're losing too you many chicks. You can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, 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 wait. No, no, I got it. I got the ultimate pun. Don't put all your eggs in one basket, guys. Ha ha! And he gets on me shit. about dad jokes. All right, I'm Matt. Right, yo, What's your wow. name? Shoenace. Clear. I'm go get some Popeyes chicken. I got my both for do. I'm Dusty B. Red Velvet. And I'm Matt for Dennis to take this is my crazy podcast yo, episode boy, 24. Cool Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you next week. We Early. out. Bullet. Bullet.